Imia Marpai. Imia Mar Baba. No, no, no. Imi Amar Pai. Amar Pai? Amar Pai, good boy. Pai? Pai. Amar Pai? Amar Pony Bar Oni Bar. <laughs> Not Pai. Pai. You know that that's that's um that's tumar pai tumar pai or nam tumar pai tumar pai or nam holo yunus or nam holo yusuf yes that day assalamu alaikum in myanmar youtube channel or nam sam martin ba and welcome uh, so, I haven't had um, a much opportunity to actually record in the office uh, lately, which is why we're in my car. Well, not my car. My car got smashed in the back end by a Ford Transit van, and that's why I'm in a replacement Corsa. Um, and it's a manual. I didn't even know they made those anymore. But I digress. So, we are gonna look, we're going to talk about how it's been going in this episode of My Bungalow Diary. Um, this will be entry four into My Bungalow Diary. So, let's talk about how it's been going, inshallah. So, this week is very appropriately titled The Plateau. I've noticed this in my students on the Arabic in 60 Steps program as well, and me going through this process of learning Bangla has really given me a new kind of empathy towards that. Now, there's kind of a gen general trend that maybe four to six weeks into the Arabic in 60 Steps program, I notice students kind of have a dip in enthusiasm or they plateau in their progress. And that's exactly kind of what's happened to me really this week with Bangla. So in this episode, I wanted to kind of give some advice for that on my own reflections in learning Bangla, that they, in the hope that they can benefit other people who are learning Bangla and also my students who are learning the Arabic language too. So we have that and we have a few announcements as well. So as you just heard in the introduction, I like to involve my family, my, my two children especially, in my process learning Bangla. Sometimes that might end up with them thinking that the word bai means a pie, but um, that's all just part of it. So um, so what I want to do, what I want to start off by doing, inshallah, is just giving three tips to anybody else who plateaus, and these are kind of reminders for myself if you plateau in your language is learning. So, like, so the first thing that I would advise is a mindset bit of advice. Like this is something that, I, that works really well for myself, is that I hold myself accountable and I extrapolate it to, to giving up on things in general. Like if I'm going to give up on Bangla now, what does that mean about me as a person? Like if I'm going to allow myself to give up on this, what's going to stop me giving up on my marriage when it gets difficult? What's going to stop me giving up on my business when it gets difficult? Like what's going to stop me giving up on my health and what other goals I have when they get difficult? So, like, I, I always kind of try to extrapolate things like that because they, they do have a knock-on effect in our lives. Like, if we allow ourselves to speak negatively about something small, it can very easily kind of pick up and be something more. And, you know, obviously from an Islamic perspective, we know this as well, that, that when the shaitan wants to distract us and wants to direct us away from the religion, he might just say to us, you know what, why don't you not pray sunnah? after Maghrib today? Why don't, why don't you delay praying Fajr a little bit? And it's always in those kind of incremental things. And what I say for my first advice is we say no. We say no, I will not give up on my greater goals. The second thing that I wanted to say is, um, is that if you feel like you're plateauing or you're running out of motivation, you've got to remember that you shouldn't wait around for motivation, that motion creates emotion, right? So like even when you come to one of these plateaus or you think that you're, you're slowing down in your studies, you just keep up the routine. You just turn up at your desk and you open your books. Or in my case, you sit outside on the porch to get some five minutes of quiet and read some bangla. Like whatever that is for you, you keep on turning up because the motion will create the emotion eventually, right? So that's the second thing, right? Like we, we cannot just wait around expecting some kind of like, you know, ray of sunshine to come into our life and galvanize us into action again for, to, to achieve our goals, right? You keep up the momentum, you keep up the motion, and the emotion will follow quickly behind. And then the third thing is a more obvious one, right? Remind yourself of the reason why you started. Like for me with learning Bangla, number one, I want to demonstrate to my students that, that, I, that I'm still willing to learn, that I'm still willing to be a beginner, I'm still willing to put myself in the position of me learning a new language and, and, and through that to kind of empathize a lot more with their struggles and stuff, you know, like when, when you think I've been, a, I've been an Arabic language graduate for five years now, so it's probably, it was, it was 10 years ago when I was a real beginner in the Arabic language. And for me to kind of make myself a beginner and experience plateauing, experience having to pick up new vocab, experiencing looking silly when I say things and pronouncing things wrong and stuff like that, like, you know, I, I want to have a, an, a, I want to have an empathy for my students for, in that way. And then another thing is simply just how beautiful Bangla is in and of itself. Like for me, 
the script, like the like the artistry of the script, is just something really beautiful to me. Like I, I find something really beautiful about the about about being able to go from knowing no bangla to now where I can I can read the bangla script fairly well. There's a, there's a few more letters that I'm struggling with, but probably by in a couple of weeks time, what I might do in like episode six of my bangla diary is I might do a little spelling test. Like I might get one of you guys to come live on on YouTube with me or whatever and give me a spelling test, like give me some words in bangla randomly and I'll see if I can spell them accurately in bangla in the bangla script. Like I'd really, really love to do that. Like if any of you guys want to be on the YouTube channel um, or even if we want to pre-record it and we'll do something over Zoom, then I'd absolutely love to do that. So that's what I wanted to start with, right? I wanted to kind of... Um, you know, give you a few things like that. And then another thing, a quick announcement that I wanted to do whilst we're in, whilst we're in the middle is just to let you guys know that I've launched my Patreon. So Sam Martin Burr, Patreon forward slash Sam Martin Burr is available now. So any of you guys for, for learning Arabic or you want to get closer to the channel or anything like that, go over and check that out, inshallah, and see if there's anything over there that I can entice you with to bring you closer to the channel, help you support the channel. So, so what else did I do in terms of actually like learning Bangla? So, um, the first thing that I focused on is just really consolidating my knowledge of chapter one of um, the colloquial Bengali book that I've been learning from. Like in that chapter, there's three dialogues and um, there's some really useful vocab in all of them. There's question words um, like ke as in who, ki as in um, as in what, um, uh, uh, what else, kothai, like where, if you're asking a question. And um, and then also I um, I think I finished the first five lessons of the Lingua Boost podcast as well. Um, yeah, so I, I spent a bit of time in the car um, when I was driving to go see a friend of mine and um, when I've had to go to physio and stuff like that in the car, I've been practicing um, from, from the Lingua Boost podcast. So um, something I want to ask you guys about is I, I've, I heard this phrase that I was practicing earlier. If I say, um, if I say, Tomar baba ma kothai taken. Tomar, um, tomar baba ma kothai taken. I think that means where are your parents from? But uh, so, so I, I got confused because is Baba Ma, is the word Baba Ma the word for parents? Like, is that a plural of father, which means parents? Because when I heard it, I thought it was Baba and Mama, Kothai Taken. But it's not really that, is it? It's, it's Tomar Baba Ma Kothai Taken. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure how that works. Maybe one of you can correct me on that because I'd, I'd very, very much appreciate that, inshallah. Um, yeah, so we did that. Um, so the Lingua Boost podcast from steps one to five, um, or, or lessons one to five rather, and um, pretty much the whole first chapter of um, the colloquial Bengali series. Um, and then another thing I wanted to announce as well is that I've published a article on my LinkedIn profile as well. So if any of you guys are on LinkedIn, you're active over there. I just wrote a quick article about just why I'm learning Bangla. Like if any of you guys haven't been following along from the beginning, um, you know, about what, why I'm learning Bangla and... Um, you know, firstly, why why Bangla is so cool, and why this is a journey that you may want to follow along with, um, but with me making the making this YouTube content as well. So, so that I believe is everything for this particular entry into my Bangla diary. So, um, yeah, so I think that's enough for today. So, um, yeah, so that's really where I'm up to. Um, still trying my best to do the script, and we've nearly finished learning the script. Um, lesson one of colloquial Bengali. And as well, up to lesson five of the Lingua Boost podcast as well. Absolutely loving it. Still think it's an absolutely beautiful language. But um, frankly, this week, I feel like I've hit a plateau. So, um, you know, but we've got to keep on pushing. Got to take the advice that I gave at the beginning of this podcast. Um, to, to, I want to take it myself. And uh, yeah, let's keep on pushing, inshallah. So I'll see you guys on Sunday at 9 p.m. for entry five into my Bangla diary. Have a great week, guys. Assalamu alaikum. Listen and repeat. Where do you live? Apni kothai thakin. Apni kothai thakin. Apni kothai thakin. Apni kothai thakin. Ami London thakin. Ami London thakin. Ami Stockholm thakin. Ami London thakin. I live in an apartment. Ami the apartment thakin. I live in a house. I live in a house. Where do your parents live? Where do 
We'll do it once again, but now in random order. Don't forget to repeat the phrases out loud. I live in an apartment. I live in the apartment de Taki. Apartment de Taki. I make the apartment I make the apartment de Taki. Where do you live? Abni Kotai Taki. 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 Tomar Namki. Abni Kotai Taki. Where do your parents live? Tomar Baba Kotai Taki. 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 I live in a house. Amiti Bari de Taki. Amiti Bari. Amiti Bari de Taki. Amiti Bari de Taki. Amiti Bari. Amiti Bari. I live in Stockholm. Ami Stockholm de Taki. 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 My parents live in Oslo. Amar baba ma Oslo te taken. Taken. Oslo te taken. Amar baba ma Oslo te taken. Amar baba ma Oslo te taken. This time, try to answer before the native speaker when you hear how do you say followed by a phrase. Where do you live? Apni kothay taken. Apni kothay taken. Tomi kothay taken. Apni kothay taken. Apni kothay taken. Apni kothay taken. I live in Stockholm. Ami Stockholm e taki. Ami London e taki. Ami Northampton e taki. Ami Stockholm e taki. Ami Cornwall e taki. How do you say? Where do you live? Tomi kothay taken. Apni kothay taken. Apni. Apni kothai taken, tumi kothai taken. Apni kothai taken, tumi kothai taken. I live in an apartment. Ami ekti apartment de taki. Ami ekti, ami ekti apartment de taki. Ami ekti apartment de taki. Ami ekti apartment de taki. How do you say? I live in Stockholm. Ami Stockholm de taki. Ami Stockholm Taki. Correct. Ami Stockholm Taki. Acha. Ami live in a house. Ami ti bari Taki. Ami ti bari. Ami ti bari. Ami ti bari te Taki. Te Taki. Ami ti bari te Taki. Ami ti bari te. How do you say? I live in an apartment. I'm in the apartment in Taki. 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 Where do your parents live? Tomar Baba Mama Kutai Taki. Tomar Baba Mama Kutai Taki. Tomar Baba Mama Kutai Taki. How do you say? I live in a house. Amekti bari ataki. Amekti bari te taki. 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 My parents live in Oslo. Amar baba ma Oslo te taki. Amar baba ma Oslo te taki. Amar baba ma Oslo te taki. 